Manny Green, aka MG. Uh, just wrapped up Adidas All American Camp. Yes, sir. What were some of your impressions from this event? Uh, some of my impressions from this event was being able to play with some of the other top kids in the in the country, in my class, and above me, and under me, and uh, being able to be coached by NBA scouts, college coaches, and being able to learn the new uh, some of the turn terminology from NBA in those terms. Uh, how do you feel like you kind of stacked up against some of the competition? Uh, playing hard. You know, doing the things that everybody don't like to do, running the floor, rebounding, stuff like that. What would you say is like one thing that you learned uh, from this weekend? Uh, one thing I learned from this weekend is to uh, always make the extra pass and uh, always make the extra pass and uh, always make the extra pass and run the floor. And run the always floor. run the floor. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I mean, for you, like, how cool was it being coached by uh, NBA coaches? Oh, uh, it was very cool, and I, uh, I, I really appreciate it, and I don't, I take real, I take advantage of it, the opportunity. For sure. Um, you know, for those who haven't seen you play, kind of describe your game. What are some of your strengths? Uh, some of my strengths are going to the basket, using my wide shoulders, and my mid-range jump shot, and corner three. Okay. What are some underrated aspects of your game, you feel like? Uh, off the dribble, uh, catching off the dribble threes, you know, getting downhill and creating space. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that, of that uh, in this past game, you know, it's good yeah. to see. Uh, what are some improvement areas you're working on right now? Uh, some improvement areas that I'm working on right now are my left, going left downhill, uh, off, coming off ball screens, pick and roll action things like that. Awesome. Um, you know, you come from like a pretty athletic family? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my dad, he played basketball at Marshall with Billy Donovan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any other, uh, like did your mom play? Uh, my mom, she played at Alabama A&M, and my brother plays football at the University of Louisville. Oh, okay. Yes, what, what position your brother play? Uh, defensive end. Defensive end? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and I understand you're a multi-sport athlete as well, right? Uh, I used to be when I was younger, but now okay. I'm just strictly basketball. Okay. And when did you make that switch to just basketball? Uh, my eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. Uh, did you play football and stuff before that too? Yes, sir. And why, I guess, why basketball over football? Uh, basketball was just more funner and it was just more easier. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. It had more fun. Uh, what position did you play in football? Uh, I play quarterback, running back, free safety, defensive end. Okay. And I really was an all-around athlete. Yeah, all over the, yes, the field. Okay. Um, you know, getting into like the latest with your recruitment and stuff like that. I know you touched on it with our guy David Hendren, but just to to get an update, uh, who's on you? Like who's showing interest? And who's, uh, what are some of the latest offers you got? Uh, the latest offers that I have got is Georgia Tech, Tennessee, and Indiana. Um, any schools you'd love to hear from that you haven't heard from? Uh, anybody who is willing to accept me. Gotcha. Um, how do you feel like you kind of like impact uh, winning on the court? Um, the impact that I have put on the court is, like I said, playing hard, rebounding, running the floor, setting hard screens, and encouraging my teammates. Who are some players, uh, be it college or NBA, that you like to watch and maybe model your game after? Uh, I go with uh, Summer Ant-Man, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, uh, Jabari, a, a little bit of everybody. Yeah. Uh, have you been able to kind of connect with uh, Jabari a little bit? Yes, sir. Okay. I What's play. some advice that he shared with you? Uh, he shared with me, always go hard and play like it's my last. Okay. Uh, and what is it you like about um, you know all those guys' games that you just mentioned? Uh, I like that I can take a little bit of all their games and add it to mine to become who I am. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, getting to know you a little bit off the court, like what are some things that you bring to like a team or like a locker room? Uh, joy, funny, you okay. know, happiness, laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're always kind of like a positive guy. Yes, stuff. sir. Um, you know, I, I know you play, you're big into Call of Duty, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, on. Um, so talk about like any other hobbies that you have and stuff? Uh, 
cooking. I can cook too. You cook? Yeah. And the college 25 that just came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. You playing that? I haven't been beat yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, who's your team on that? Uh, UGA. UGA? Yeah, Bulldogs. Okay. Got gotcha, a roll with them. All right. Is your brother on the game? Uh, yeah, I play with University of Louisville too. All right. All right. Um, any other hobbies and stuff like that? Uh, Going out, just spending time with family, you know. Okay. Um, any like books, movies, TV shows that you're into? Uh, the movie Friday, uh, Bad Boys 2, that was a good movie too. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that was a good movie. Um, any books that you like to read? Uh, one book that I read was Harry Potter. I read Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, the whole series, or yeah, I try to find all. I'll try to find all the different ones. Yeah. You know, okay. At, at my school, I just yeah. go to the library and read on my off time. Got you. Which, uh, if you were to be sorted into a house, which house would you be sorted into? Uh, it's kind of hard because yeah. you know I like all of them. You you like know, all of them? They're all interesting. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, good answer there. Yeah. yeah political <laughs> answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you had like a hashtag to describe yourself, what would that hashtag be and why? Uh, let's see. Hashtag stay true, and I would I would just use that to stay true to the, my work and keep working and never never get the high head, never get too high, never get too low. Stay true to to who I am and my work. Perfect, love that. And we'll wrap it up with this. But you know, when you're done playing basketball, like what do you hope to be remembered for? Uh, when I'm done playing basketball, I hope to be remembered as a basketball player, of course, and someone who is de there for everyone, you know, entertainer, things like that. Awesome. Thank you for the time. You're welcome.